What is up, Gunplum Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Customs. And today, I am going to build this kit. The 144 scale Master Grade AMS 123X X Moon Gundam Neo Zeon's prototype mobile suit from the Mobile Suit Moon Gundam animated manga series, I think you call it. Yeah, not animated, sorry, the manga series. So, this was something that all of you guys said I should make. And to no due fairness, I completely forgot I had this in my stock while I was uh, showing it off of about a week ago. Um, I pulled out all my high grades saying, mm, I wonder how you guys can make, but there's so many. And I always say, oh, let, me pick, let me ask you guys to see what I should build. And I actually started to write down um, everyone's votes. And before we begin talking about the, the uh, Moon Gundam, I was like writing down like all the kits that you guys said. Uh, there were a lot of uh, onesies here and there, but I'm going to break it down to the ones that have the most. Obviously, Moon Gundam had the most um, votes, about uh, close to nine votes. Um, the one that had six votes was the Astrea. And by the way, I was compiling this from my YouTube video. My, twi my Twitter um, uh, photograph, my Instagram photograph, and my Facebook photograph that I posted a few days ago. And then I just tallied it all up and said, alright, what should I make? And clearly everybody wanted me to make the moon. So moon was first. Uh, Australia was second. And I have to admit, Australia is a pretty neat kit. I got that on Gun off um, Gundam Planet. Uh, as well as uh, the moon Gundam. I, I picked this up on Gundam Planet. Uh, then what came in third this tide was the Zass and the Zeta Plus. I have to admit, the Zass is one of those mobile suits that you don't normally see a lot of people build. Um, I was compelled to build that one if you guys were going to vote for that one as well. But you know what? I think with this, with these three kits that I'm mentioning right now, I think this will be the kits that I will make. So, uh, through the year. Through the, throughout the entire year. So clearly with the moon being done and I'm building the other kits, I'll work on the Australia and then I'll work on the Zass. Of course, that's always a, you know, subject to change whether something comes up new or interesting or something that I have an idea, I may change it up, but we'll go with this for now. So, Moon Gundam came out in 2018. So it's a little over, over a year, over two years old now. Um, I've heard we've I've seen a lot of pictures of this mobile suits built uh, being built, and I have to admit I was impressed with its overall um, not only look but its construction. I heard many good things about this. I don't know why I never jumped onto this in the first place. I didn't know why I didn't build it at the time. Um, clearly, I was making something, but. Uh, yeah, and now we're getting, um, I guess that, uh, I guess the other mobile suit uh, kit from the same time, same series, but it's coming out as a P Bandai, which of course, if you guys order it, you'll get it hopefully in September. You know, everything is all delayed till September, which is a bit, a bit ridiculous. But what are you gonna do? So, this Moon Gundam has some interesting interesting things about it. First of all, it comes with its weaponry, which is the beam rifle, which technically is, looks like a much more better version of the uh, of the size of the beam rifle, which is supposed to be based off that. Uh, the beam tomahawk, which is a nice weapon, looks nice. But then you get these psycho plates. So this is, I guess, I guess these psycho plates has something to do with being um, like bits, kind of like what you see in uh, in the Cheridum. No, not the Cher yeah, was it the Cher yeah the Cheridum from um, from Double uh, O Gundam. Then you have these butterfly edges that like weird, like weird blade things that you throw. Strange, very strange. We'll have to look at that later on. Cost 3,000 yen at a time. So, and 
then there's some effect, this thing has an effect type thing in here. I haven't done the research and read the comic yet, or the manga, uh, for this, but, uh, be interesting to see how this works. Alright, let's open it up and see what we got here. Okay, right off the bat, there's a lot of detail on this kit. Good detail. We have a a slightly violet, like a bluish violet color. Very nice. There's the effect part in the back. And then we have the effect for the plating in the for this. Parts of the armor. Let's see that. More of the plating. Same thing over there. I guess maybe it, was, it, it could be part of the arm. We have the red parts here. Boy, I think that could be the. Okay, so that's the face. I could see that. Waist. Some of those over there. Hmm. We see a green part here. Oh, that could be the eyes. Yeah. In. Then we have the red part, clear red parts that go right behind the, the white parts to give it that interesting effect. Skirt armor of the of the um, Sazabi. Which I have the original real, um, not the real grade, the um, the regular high grade version. There's the hand. This is a more of an interesting, like off white color type thing, not pure white. There's the beam rifle. There's hands. Some detail parts here. Okay, so this is the one thing that I was impressed with was the fact that this comes with an inner frame leg. Inner frame leg. Obviously, it's a big kit. I don't know if there's an inner frame arm. So we have yellow parts here. We have the same bluish parts that we just saw before. And we have more red parts with these two, these two there. Oh, this comes with an action base? I didn't realize that. Cool. That's nice. And then we have more charcoal parts. Good detail, though. Very good detail. And finally, the manual. I'm impressed with the fact that it came with an action base, because that's kind of cool. Um, so if you want to close it up in a bit. Let's look at this manual. Alright, so here's what it looks like overall. I've seen some amazing part separations here. And the leg, of course. The arm has some great part separations, the, ch the uh, waist unit, then the upper body, the head. So it's going to be interesting on how I'm going to paint this. I haven't thought of it yet. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. So let's go to... Uh, it's not a book. It's a very long leaflet. Alright, so here are all the parts. Um... So see here, there are two parts not being used, I think because it's probably a double up from this. And then we have a lot of parts that you don't need to use for the action base, just, just the specifics you need. Alright. And then we have the assembly of the body, followed by the head. And then the assembly of the shoulder armor, then the regular arm. Then that's where you get to the leg part. Some thick parts of that, the leg. So you go 
both right, right and left there. Then you got the waste unit. And then you have the back. And then on this section, you have the assembly of the of the backpack, um, how to put it up, and then how to assemble this elaborate thing. Which I've seen people now buy, they buy two Moon Gundams so they can put double of this. I'm not going to do something like that. Um, but I do like its design and I, I, I want to see what I can do with that. And then you assemble the, um, oh yeah, so from here, once you assemble the, um, the backpack and the, um, the bits that come, oh, I'm going to call it bits, um, you put it together. And you could put it in any type of shape or position, as you could see here. Um, there's this unique this thing, the butterfly edge type thing. These are, are these little blades. And then the beam rifle, how to assemble the beam rifle, how to connect it. That's easy. And then a quick assembly of the action base stand. And here it is, what it looks like. And oh, say okay. So we all know that the the other mobile suit that's going to be selling as a P Bandai is called the Vargu, which I guess is the enemy for this one. We already know that we have the real grade um, so not, uh, Sazabi, which I have already. Um, so we have the pink guide here. It could be. You have a choice. You have two. It's a two toner right there. So we have white and we have off white. A little off light with a little gray on it. It's actually, the color separation is a slight, it's very subtle, almost very subtle to see something like that. Then the body is a combination of 50% white, 40% purple, and 10% blue. That's what you get. In that we have the red or med, red matter. So then we have green for the eyes, we have charcoal, and we have yellow. This is uh, interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Give me a minute while I figure out what paint I'm going to use with this. So, with my last uh, build where I was doing a lot of decal work on my kits, on my um, Mozinger, if you anybody remember that, um, I was reviewing some of my decals and I said to myself I could probably use some of these decals on this kit but what? Well, I'm going to show you the decals that I'm not going to use on this because it doesn't seem to be appropriate and that is of course the, camo, the uh, camouflage decals that I've collected throughout the years like this clear one which is pretty nice I would like that would be, this is nice um, I have these letters which Obviously, it's not camo, but I had it here because I'm not going to use it. Then I had these purple decals. Look how cute, how, how amazing these are. I'm, I'm assuming that if I do purple or a darker tone, this will, or maybe a, maybe a lighter tone, I can apply this on these uh, digital decal, uh, digital uh, camo decals. I have two sets of white. I don't know why I got two white. Maybe I thought I lost one and I did the other one, but. Yeah, I really can't wait to use that. I really like these little, these here, right there. And this will probably show a lot better if it was a darker tone in the background. I have the snow winter type. I have an idea for this one. And then I have uh, this light blue, a purplish blue in the background right there. Dark blue, dark with white. And then red, and then lighter red. Darker red, but lighter red. And then we're back again to see this. You guys are probably saying, use it, do that. But I have an idea for a kit that hopefully I'll get a chance to try. That brings me to these decals. Now, these are considered 1-100 scale decals. But they're so small and well detailed that I think this will be perfect for something like this, considering how big it is. So I have these dark gray ones, I have the, the light gray ones, this is nice. I also have the pink, 
and pink is pretty much look probably look gonna be looking good on a color that I'm going to try right now on this kit so we're gonna keep that there I also have this one that I picked up from um, USA Gundam um, USA Gundam store um, which I, I want to get the white version of this it's hard to find and then I have the blue um, these blue circle ones and I don't know if there's any circles on this um, you could pretty much say that could work but but no I don't see anything in the back here all right so we have our decals that we can use uh, whether we use the light or the dark or the pink I don't know but we'll definitely keep that ready for that but what colors am I going to use this kit well <laughs> I pulled this off and I said I probably want to use this this is the Space Legion's paints that I picked up from MosquitoCon last year um, this is acrylic of course from Meg Ammo and this has some really funky colors you have this light blue this blood red actually you know what I'm going to pull these out So look, look how dark red this thing is. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look at that. Then we have gold. I don't know how, how, how shiny this gold will be. Shameless. It looks shiny. And then we have bone color. So it's not white, it's bone. So it has a weird... It has a, an off-white cream color type setup. Then we have this blue Rouse 1519, and then we have this dark blue Man, Man Manny blue, two-tone blue, pretty interesting. And then we have polished metal. So this is the gun metal, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at wow, that's really thick. I have a feeling I have to be thinning this forever be nice to try this on this kit, um, but I think I'm going to hold out on that. I'll hold on on another kit. Let me just put this away. Get in there. So, uh, instead of these colors, I'm going to we're going to break it down again on what I'm going to use. So, the white color parts. I'm going to use, and I don't know if I have enough. No, I do not have enough, and I have to go find it. <laughs> I, I think I have an extra bottle, but I have to look for it. I have this gray 315, which is looks cool for this. I, I think I like this one better for this. But then I'm going to section it off and I'm going to paint it a different color and I'm going to use um, grayish blue for this. So it's going to be a two-tone for that, specifically in like, you know, certain areas. For the yellow, I'm going to use Mr. Yellow, MS Yellow. It's only a few parts here and there, not too, not too crazy, just the the vent and the uh, and the thing here and that's it. There's only like three or four parts, so that's the only yellow I got here. Now for this, I've been meaning to try this for a long time. I'm gonna use purple. Purple. And I think with the purple and the pinkish color decals. think that will look good? Or will that blend in? Hmm. Now I'm second guessing myself. I can understand this will look good through here, because you'll see it. But this may... You know what? I don't think this will work for this. Hmm. Makes me want to go online and look for this one in white. And that's hard to find. But we're going to use the purple for now. For the inner frame, I'm going to use Titan's Blue uh, 1. 
it's a darker tone so I'm going to use that for the inner frame parts the weaponry but the weaponry I may end up doing another tone color I haven't thought of it yet so that's going to be a, an idea the red now I'm using two reds here the waist unit the the um, the chest the um, part here on the, on, the, on the head and I believe there's another part in the body which I cannot see I'm going to use uh, RML 23 red for this but for the background I'm going to use russet I want a dark red I'm not too keen on this clear red type thing it doesn't have to be clear for me and I'm probably going to do because when I was looking at this like you see how these are there are separations there doing one color is one thing but I want to do a secondary color which is of course that gray but going to the red parts that's the same thing so I can do the red but I want to do another color I don't know if I want to do another layer of red or maybe something else that's a little off maybe you guys can help me out with that give me some ideas so that's the idea for now I gotta see if I have another bottle of this if I don't I'll have to switch it up with something that I could find um, and then I have the decals that you saw that I'm gonna use clearly the darker decals will show through here I need a lighter tone here I don't know if the pink will work the pink will probably work on the uh, on the other side of course and you won't be able to see any dark reds you know oh that's right you know what correction on on the on the deca on the uh, pinkest decals maybe after I paint the uh, purple I could use hold on a second I could use this what do you think of that the the camo decal the digital camel decals on the top and on the feet mm. huh. what do you think it's an idea I'll leave that up to you guys to debate let me begin building the moon Gundam and see how it looks overall before we begin this project